I know some might be thinking, boy, that's a big mortar joint, but my story tape, that's how big, it's, how big yeah. it was. That's why we made them, so we would already know, so we would make sure that all the... Well, I mean, not because of that, just... We want to make I sure... If I don't do it as I go up, then I really have to try to correct it at the top. Oh, that's why we did what we did. So that we know. It's fun trying to fit mortar into a tiny little crack. Yeah. I know this seems like this has been an, a never ending project, yeah. but. Because it was. It is. Well. But we're getting closer. I mean, that is true. That is the attic right there. So hang tight. We're getting there. You can't rush perfection. We've come a long way. So, as you can see, we got a once we get up here before we do anything we got to replace that floor joist there and before we can pour the form i guess yep so but we're moving on up that's what we're doing slow and steady wins the race uh, i guess I don't know what we're racing for, but yeah. <laughs> we're racing against the rain. The rain. Clouds are pretty though. All white. Not and as fluffy. pretty as you are. Oh, thanks, baby. All right, Frank. What are you up to now? Oh, if you guys remember, this stone was missing. This stone and there's a little stone right here that was missing. We thought that this was one stone, but once we started looking at it, it's two. So I gotta make a triangle stone. So I put the 8C in. Everybody knows what 8C is. This is 8C. Because Carrie's beautiful engraving. Because look at the permanent marker faded, of course. So now I've got a piece of cardboard and I've got to put a good mortar joint space in there and I'm gonna come along the back and draw the line of where the new rock needs to go And it needs to match up there. So So we're putting in a small a It'll small, be a triangle, sort of like it'll be like this one, just a little bit smaller. Just no a little bigger. It's like half an inch bigger. So after marking it good, that's the shape of the stone. Now we've got to go take my stone we got with our uh, stone batch transfer that to that and then do some rock facing that I learned from Mike Haddock okay and what is rock facing stone I right, gotta face the stone which you, you just you go along a, a good line with a chisel thing and knock it and it knocks off this chunk so it makes it rough. Oh, okay. Kind of So it's called okay. rock facing. So you you kind of So you you got your line right. and you hammer straight down with the facing chisel and it knocks off that stone. So it makes a nice face instead of a flat face. Um, we're after this. Yes. All right. I guess. <laughs> Frank is cutting out his pattern. My pattern. 
it's his turn for arts and crafts since yeah, I, yeah. I did it up on the roof, but what so I was... This square into this triangle. So what tools are you using to do that? Oh, I'm going to use the facing chisel thingy and the seven inch grinder. Okay. We hope it's gonna get dusty in here. Maybe I should take it outside. Uh, may not be a bad idea. I should probably take it outside. Which? I don't, isn't it pretty much the same? <coughs> That's hilarious. Which one did I cut? Let me see the points and I can tell you. This one, I think. Because you were trying to make it shorter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because so, there's the line. Yeah. So it's that one. Alrighty. So I'm just drawing a line so I can face this stone. And then I'll take it across the top here. Just trying to make it look nice. And then I'll use some of this. I think. Never really done this before. But how hard can it be? Right? Now I think I take my stone pitching chisel. I think I should try it on one that I haven't. Yeah, why don't you try it on the one that we're not using? Ah, what could go wrong? Oh, you just have to cut another one. Well, it's hard to break the whole stone, I suppose. See, right now I'm just hitting some of it off. And then I'll creep up to the line. To the deluxe apartment in the sky. Uh, I'm singing while I do it, baby. Because you said we're moving on up earlier. <laughs> so that got stuck in my head. But. An earwig, earwig, or whatever, earwig, what they call them. Yeah. Earworm. Does this make loud noise on the camera? Oh, you know it makes loud noise on my ears. We're moving on. Does it look any different? Yeah.
See, that looks better than just flat stone. So you're doing that all the way around? Yeah. Now, if you can imagine, when they built Miss Moreland, they did that to every stone. Yep. Every stone. Well, I think it looks close enough to the other stones. Yeah. I mean, it's not flat-faced. It's got... Well, and it's been outside, so it's wet. Yeah. So it hasn't dried out yet. Yeah, well... Yeah, it was laying on the ground. No, it, well, I thought that one was the one that was in the, the window. Oh, we took the window, time, yeah. I think we took the window out. Because we took, had that one sitting in the windowsill down there for a long time because we were seeing if it matched and it did now we need to take that part off yeah do you want the little grinder uh, I was if I could just break it off you might could if you scored it I just need a what you need a marker there it is I knew I had it somewhere. Yeah, I tossed it up to you on the man basket and had to go down to the ground and go get it. Are you kidding me? No. What did you do that for? Right. Well, I didn't know it was, I forgot that it had a... Projectory? It had, a, well, I, who would have thought that I would have tossed it perfectly for it to fall down a hole? Oh, I didn't notice. When did you do that? Oh, right after I couldn't find the tape. See if I can creep up on that using a different kind of chisel. Isn't that the same chisel you used before? No. This oh. is a pitching chisel and this is just a chisel chisel. That's, isn't that the one that we found yes. in the wall? This, no, we didn't find it in the wall. We just found it found here. It out there on the... So... It was on the... Portico. Do you think that one was one of the original? No. They no. probably used it. Oh, one. yeah. They might have had to do that to some of the stones that they were putting on. Let's see here. about it so much. Well, it's because I use it. Oh. Well, like I said earlier, it's getting ready to rain. Will you take a picture? So how does it fit, Frank? Got to put it in the right way. Got to put it in the right way? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Look at that. That looks like the other stones, baby. That's pretty good. Nice. It'll have a quarter inch grout, maybe a little, about an eighth inch grout line. But or same as the other line, side. But. Nice. I think that'll work. I think it will. It's raining. So Frank's holding the tarp. Closer to closing this in. 
That'll be nice. And there's my new rock. There's your new rock. Looks nice. Looks very nice. Very good. It's really hard to to do stone when it's raining. I know. All right. You've got to cover up. Yeah. All right. Nice job on the stone. Mia, are you checking out the toy that Papa got for Taylor? Are you checking out that toy? You just see the feathers. Is this what you see? That goes in there. Yeah. That's for her kitties. <laughs> no, that put that back in the bag. Silly girl.